All right, as we mentioned earlier, we're in the kitchen today with organic personal chef queen, and we are focusing today on cherries. Yes, we chef are. Chef queen is in the house today. National Give it a cherry pound. month. Get her a little pound there. Yes, the it fruit is, of romance. It is the fruit of romance. Yes. I love cherries. And yeah, we talked I do too. earlier about the benefits of cherries. Great benefits. Yes, 17 antioxidants. It has anthocyanins and melatonin, uh, which, you know, helps with jet lag. And, it, you know, if you have gout and, uh, you know, it's a heart uh, thing with the antioxidants. That's that's so fabulous. It helps our circulatory system. I there. love that. Now, tell yeah. us what we're making today. What are we focusing on? Well, we have a nice spinach salad over here. Okay. And uh, we're doing that with uh, pomegranate poached cherries, mosh, pea tendrils, Ooh. rosemary pecans, and a cherry balsamic vinaigrette. Now, what did you use inside of this dressing to make this? What is in this? Well, the shallots mustard, um, the cherry vinegar, which you can buy at the store. Okay. Okay. Uh, I did poach some cherries to add an additional punch, you know. Okay. And, and antioxidant benefit, Ooh. but uh, you know, EVOO, some salt and pepper, very light. Very light. And so all we did was we put was some cherries, some spinach, and some really great nuts in here. Yeah, I did rosemary pecans on there, and then you just drizzle that and toss that a little bit. You can add a touch of and that's uh, it? salt and pepper, my little shovel. Oh, I love <laughs> that little shovel of salt and pepper. pepper. And, uh, you know, you can make it a whole entree meal, a luncheon or dinner. Okay. You know, it's a nice vegetarian option. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And now you topped it with couscous. Now, are we making I couscous? We, yeah, yes, we are. We're okay. going to be putting together the couscous. Okay, and then I'm making this a mess. is the tea. Ooh. Actually, not tea, excuse me. It's a lemon limeade oh. uh, with spearmint. So I poached the spearmint in with the uh, lemon and lime juice and put agave, did it all natural, the honey, agave, and water. Oh, and, that's um, it? Yeah. Well, the cherry juice, yeah. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm going to taste that in a second, but walk us through this couscous. Now, A, tell us what couscous is again, and how do you actually make it? Couscous is a Moroccan pasta. Okay. So it's not a grain, as some people might think. Uh, it cooks very quickly. Uh, boiling water or stock, vegetable stock, chicken stock, whatever you want. Uh, get it boiling, add salt and pepper. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you chop up all the fruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Yeah, and, and you listen, put now that... we need to get you some water over here. Hold on. No, here, no, Jeff. I'm good. I'm good. good? Okay. And, and then you just uh, put that in there, put the cover on it, and turn it off, and it it steams, basically. Now, what do you recommend minutes. in terms of spices that go in couscous? Because I know you're kind of an herb queen as well. Well, you can add some herbs to that if okay. you would. Please be generous with the parsley, which is a blood purifier. Okay. And then you've got chives, lots of chives, lots nice of flavor chives. there. Um, you've got some fresh dill here. And then what are we adding here? Let's walk through it slowly. So we've what have we added here? <clears throat> Those are fresh chives, okay. chopped chives. And what is this here? That is fresh parsley, okay. which is uh, good for the blood. It's okay. a blood purifier. Perfect. Good for the heart. Um, these are green onion, spring oh, onion. Okay. Kind of like onion. a scallion, but a little bigger. Okay. And that's a little shallot. So okay. just a little, little. A little bit of shallot. Yeah, a little bit. Because okay. that's kind of strong. It has a bite to it. Okay. And then the dill. Okay. And then with the thyme. Use your time wisely. Aww. Just a pinch of time. Just you know, a little bit. Goes a long a ways. Okay. And it adds a nice, lovely uh, aromatic to it. And so. now all I would do is just turn this around. Now, would you put the lid back on and actually cook this a little bit longer? No, once it steams, it's finished. Okay. And you can add anything to this. You could do it, um, you know, with the cumin and coriander. Um, you could do it with nuts if you like nuts. Um, How do you keep it healthy, though? How do you keep couscous, meaning like you're not cooking it? Did you cook this in vegetable or vegetable chicken stock? Vegetable stock. Okay. Vegetable stock, and then you just put a little EVOO, which is extra virgin olive oil. I didn't know that. Yeah. Stuff. You can use light extra virgin olive oil or, you know, <laughs> the regular stuff. I use the cold press naturally. It has very fruity flavor, and uh, it's nice in this dish. I love that. Now, you brought yeah. a couple of other things. Let's talk about what else you brought for us today, and yeah. then I'm going to give us a taste. This is the... Um, Mm. Tart cherry, Ooh, wow. lemon limeade. So, mm. you know, fresh lemon and lime juice. Yeah, we got that, but what's this here? Let's move on. Let's oh, go to this. Oh, yeah, yes. let's talk about that. This is the cobbler. Okay, now tell us about this. So hold that still. Sweet tart cobbler. I made little heart shaped biscuits because it's, um, you know, the time of year. It is that time of year. It is that, uh, yeah. And so, um, you know, uh, you put the cherries and the uh, sugar, tapioca, uh, everything in the pan, put it in the oven, let it bake about 30 minutes. Okay. And then while that's in there, you're doing the biscuits. Okay. So I did uh, buttermilk biscuits in this case, stamped them out, and um, to make it festive, did the heart shapes. Oh. And then you just put it in the oven and finish it. Okay. So it wow. can be served hot or cold. Um, you know, but I like it warm with some fresh whipped cream. Let's which talk we'll, about the whipped cream. Let's put that in the oven. Okay, so put that warm. in the oven first. And again, how long will we cook that, Chef? Well, uh, it takes about 30 minutes for the cherries and then probably about 20, 25 minutes for the uh, biscuits on top. All right, beautiful. So, under an hour. Perfect. Now, yeah. let's walk on over here. Now, what are we going to do here? 
Okay, um, I started the whipped cream for the cobbler. Okay, and you started that from scratch. I did, okay. I did, yeah. And you know, if you want to stabilize it, you can add a little bit of um, uh, gelatin, Knox flavored gelatin. It'll hold okay. it up longer, like if okay. you're going to let it set for a while. But otherwise, it's just whipped cream. Um, in this case, I put confectioner sugar and some organic uh, vanilla. All right. Um, and I had some cherry juice. It has a little hint of a pink now, color. Now, what are we going to do with this nutmeg here? You could so also what add we... kirsch to this, oh. which gives it that, you know, that little liqueur. Some people like that. Okay. And is this the topping that's going to go in the cobbler? That is for the cobbler. Okay. So let's talk yeah. about this nutmeg. Why is this so important? What are we doing? Well, the nutmeg, it, just use this side and okay. just grate up a little bit of that oh. nutmeg. It okay. just, you know, fresh nutmeg has a wonderful. Uh, flavor to it that okay. you know well, if you buy <laughs> if you buy it in the jar already grated it, it really loses its flavor really quickly. Okay. Do we and need a lot of it? No, maybe okay. like this is a problem. Buck, get in here. We have Buck Hollywood that's on standby. Okay. It's Michael Buckley. Come get the. I've got the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So we're gonna add a little bit. So maybe, appropriate. Maybe like get a half here. a teaspoon okay. for an eight ounce package of whipped cream, and that's gonna give it that really nice bite. It's Ooh. going to really improve. Get the yeah. flavor. You know how cinnamon, nutmeg, they all go together. Real comfort food stuff. Oh. And people love it. And I want to say that I, in the uh, biscuits, I put ginger. Okay. I put crystallized ginger. Mm. All those recipes are online. And, um, you know, are I you hope ready that to eat? I'm ready to I eat. Okay, give it. him something because he said he wasn't going to eat on television. I was so we kidding. want to make sure that well, we can you eat. can start by drinking. I can start by drinking. Oh, I love it. You're gonna you drink drink out of this. You I'm okay? Not... <laughs> you healthy girl? <laughs> She's healthy. I am a healthy girl. I promise. I promise. Michael. And now I'm drunk. What's, What's in it? Oh, oh my yeah. God, no, it's yummy. It's, it's very refreshing. Do you feel in love right now? I love cherries. Okay, I love cherries. I love cherries. What's Where's that cobbler? Give me that cobbler. She's going to be in the oven. What is happening in here? Oh my goodness. Oh, what does it taste like? What do you think? It's so effing good. Oh, oh, my God. Don't it's, talk like that now. It's so light. And, I just gave you the best endorsement ever, queen. It's so effing good. I hope you love it. And, and, and you know, stuff. you I'm can do your cobbler individual here. cobblers. Okay. Okay, for uh, if you had guests over and you wanted to do yes. six of these or eight or whatever. I've never cooked wow. a thing in my life. You haven't? I did a cooking segment once. I um, microwaved uh, lean cuisine. The crowd loved it. Oh, my goodness. Well, well this is the warm one. Cobbler, and this is really warm. Okay. And it's going to taste fabulous. And I'm going to actually plate it up for you since you're our guest today. I thought you already used my hands. Oh, you she probably would. Go for it. Let's just give you a bite. How's oh that? God. I'm going to let them taste it. If you'd like to try this recipe for yourself, any of this wonderful stuff, the Chef Cuisine, mm. the Chef, Chef Queen, oh, a so great good. cuisine has brought, it's going to be on our website. <laughs>